hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be showing you how to make a structured and firm detail using a crinoline all right guys so to achieve the structured look there are different ways to go about it one being that you can actually use a regiline bone or even a gum stay but in this video we'll be making use of a crinoline and this is what a crinoline looks like you need to place two crinoline on top of each other like this just for firmness and you can actually use three but I used two in this uh, video and it works well for me but before you do that you'd need to uh, measure out the length of the attachment whether you're going to use this attachment for a sleeve or whatever creative way that you can think of you need to get your measurement all right so I measured out the length I needed and I made sure to cut two pieces all right so the next thing to do is to sew both ends of the crinoline line together all right so here's the crinoline line after i've sewn both ends together and i also went ahead to create a casing for the crinoline. line to create a casing for the crinoline, line just go ahead and measure the width of the crinoline line and um, go ahead and create that casing remember to add allowance to your kitten when you're creating yours so here's my kitten and i'm just turning it inside out i closed one end of the kitten while i opened the other one so i'll just turn it inside out like so all right so the next thing to do is just to tip the edges of the crinoline line like this all right guys so here's the kitten and the journey is at the back and also one end is closed just like i said earlier all right guys so the next thing to do is just to fold your crinoline line and pass it through the casing like so just fold it and put it into the casing all right guys so this is it and what you need to do is just to close this other part and we're going to take it to the ironing table and just uh, press it a little bit with a steam iron all right so this is it after you know pressing it a little bit it doesn't require so much heat so just uh use a steam iron not so hot so i'll just go ahead and place it on my dress form all right guys so here it is look at how bouncy that is i just pinned it to my dress form i'm trying different angles look at how well structured it looks it's so firm and beautiful i hope you try this also it's very very simple and um it makes a statement on your garment look at this style too you can literally make a whole lot of things with it it's so beautiful all right guys thank you so much for watching to the end